Most fighting game tracks are just there to fill the background while Tekken music have more variety and clear theme that generally revolved around encouraging you to throw hands. I don't think this song encourages you to throw hands. This song encourages you to throw down. Yeah, you, you it's not encouraging you to throw hands. It's encouraging you to throw ass. <laughs> That's what the parents, the Tekken music in general is just kind of like that. All right, it's time for another This Week on Tekken, the video series that I almost called This Week in Tekken. Then I realized TWIT isn't a very good acronym for this. It's not like TWAT is much better, but we're all twats anyway. Let's take a look at the subreddit. A uh, weekly anti-character discussion, Kazuya. Sidestep left. Try to block the hell sweep before trying to block the forward forward three, unless the heat dash, then block the forward forward three first. Fuzzy guarding. What the fuck? How do you have 54%? Excuse me? Spare me law for sure! <laughs> Normally I am questioning how some servers have some people with crazy connection rates, but I play on EU1. However, I'm not bumped into that player. I had to make sure I'm recording. I changed my button binds. Because on the last video... Okay, you guys didn't see it in the last video. Yeah, but there was there was obviously parts where I was editing and cutting out and stuff. At one point I went... I opened a new tab and I looked up something about Heihachi. And in my typing... I forgot that my hotkeys for OBS would still apply. So by accident, I stopped recording midway <laughs> in between all of that. So I changed all my, uh, all my button binds and stuff, yeah, my inputs and stuff. Hotkeys. Button binds. Fucking Tekken. God. Should geese come, come back? Yes, just as he was with his own unique meter. Do we really want that? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna bring Geese back, bring Elisa back. That's Tekken's 2D character. Yes, but his meter mechanics should be done as part of the heat system. Would that work? I don't think it would. Doesn't he like build up to three meter and stuff? I don't think that would work too well, unless unless it works off the installs, which means it would work like Lydia's. Which also means what happens when he spends said installs. It does it go away and then he can get them back as you're playing the match or not? That just brings up a whole... That's a whole different thing. Armor King. How on earth are they going to top his Tekken 7 outfit? It's out of this world good. That's it. That's all I've got. Yeah, that's, that's actually true. His Tekken 7 outfit is actually probably the best look for Armor King. Besides, of course, me being old. Tekken 2 Armor King outfit was pretty sick. I can't remember if it was Tag 1 or Tekken 2. His alternate was like a blue metallic version of that outfit. It was kind of sick. But yeah, Tekken 7 Armor King definitely had the best design. No doubt. How would they top that? Make it more friendly, I guess. They just add a bunch of other shit there. Random thought, but what if we could complement other players' customization, etc.? Oh? Wait, hold on. I want to see this one. Like a fun little nice style button after the match, or just a GG nice fight button. Without a negative counterpart, kind of like DMC5 had it in its limited PvP sometimes. I want to say cool custom, but players probably think I'm sending salt. I was just about to say, yeah, somebody would be like, FUCK YOU! And they just, <laughs> this magic GG nice fight nice style bitch. <laughs> oh, that would be, that would be. Do we get up? Trash custom button too. Yes, that would be. We would actually need that. Some people got some goofy ass customs. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why it's not already a thing. Like just having a button that says GG to the other would be so nice. Kind of. Yeah. Every day I face people that are super good and it's so cool playing with them. But sending them a Steam message every time is kind of ass. You got at least. Well, that's some commitment to taking the time out to do that. Although for me personally as well. Sometimes playing on PS5, I would I would get messages from people where they'd be like, yo, that was a good fight, You're playing well, stuff like that. So it does happen, I guess. They are, it, that's one thing that I like about the Tekken community is you have that aspect of it as well. Then, of course, you run into some uh, pretty salty players. They start talking shit, becoming racist and stuff. So we got some bad stuff in there. So I don't... I don't know how this would work. Like, I kind of guess how it would work. It would be kind of like your save replay button as well after the fight. But it would be kind of nice, but then what displays on the other person's screen? Does it just pop up there? <laughs> uh, like the notification when you get a, a promo or something like that. How does that work? 
It would be kind of cool. We need something like the first bump system in League. Yeah. So you send them a first and they bump. <laughs> what an expert! You send them a first and they bump. That is fantastic explanation. Oh, I'm skipping the meme because that's going to be a different part of the video. Wi-Fi. Why can't people have good Wi-Fi, man? It's annoying. Holy shit, have you seen the Wi-Fi that I run into sometimes? My god. Not not even just Wi-Fi. Yeah, I blame Tekken. I honestly blame Tekken. The little indicator thing that shows you what your, your opponent's connection is. It's a fucking lie. I have g gone up against so many people that show 5 bar. But it's not 5 bar. It's like a 2 bar Wi-Fi. It's awful. That, <laughs> that's the problem. Sometimes I run into people that have really good Wi-Fi. Like... The Wi-Fi matches are sometimes better than the ones that show five bars of like an Ethernet connection. I don't know why, but it's, it's been like that even in Tekken 7. It's awful. Dude, seriously, why is nobody talking about Brian? He went from zero to 100 in a heartbeat. Everything launches, everything stuns, everything does a million damage. Why is this going under the radar? Because that's Tekken 7 Brian. That's it. <laughs> That's just Brian. That's just describing Brian. Everything launches, everything stuns, everything does a million damage. That's Brian. Not salt, just confusion. <laughs> he isn't under the radar. He's been good for years. Yeah, it's it's just Brian. People don't talk about him because he's difficult for them to pick up. He's not super difficult, actually. Maybe Torn Jet Upper you'll struggle with or something, but like you, that's not necessary to play the character, so it's fine. He's so difficult, you actually need to do a full QC beam motion to get his broken low. <laughs> truly, truly. A hard Giga Chad character. Yeah. I don't see how people call that, like, execution on Brian. It is just a quarter circle forward. Oh, sorry. Quarter, QCB. Quarter circle back. You can play any 2D game. You're throwing out quarter circles and half circles and stuff all the fucking time. Don't understand. He's literally one of the hardest characters in the game. And Hatchet Kick isn't broken compared to stuff like Jin Scourge. Yes, actually, I, I tend to agree. Like, even though Hatchet Kick is, what, minus 13? It's still way easier to punish than Scourge for some reason. What makes a perfect character so difficult? Is is that the insane undeserved damage? Or the wall Oki? Or the insane tracking? Or the lowest risk reward in the game. I don't think he has the lowest risk reward. Okay, but maybe. Maybe because of all the counter hit shit. Yeah. Or the tracking to one side safe jab strings. QCB1 or 3 or <laughs> pack 1 or 3 plus 4, 2. Unblockable taunt into free unscaled damage. Didn't they nerf that at first and then they brought it back for some reason? If that was gone, I, if I remember right, the taunt stuff was gone. Some of the best counter hit launches in the game, yeah, because practically almost everything launches on Brian on counter hit, yeah. Some of the best punishment in the game, some of the best keep out, should I go on? But I would say it is still easier to deal with Brian. Well, most of, like, I, sometimes I struggle with him, but... For the most part, one of the things you learn when playing Tekken, especially against like a character like Brian, is... You don't press. It's kind of like Xiaoyu. You don't just randomly press into a Brian player because that's what they want to happen. You just wait for them to do some, some dumb shit and then you, you blow them up for it. Like, sidestepping him or something. Like, if, you, if your opponent is spamming 3 plus 4 all the time, you sidestep them and you blow them up. Or if they do hatchet kick and you block it, minus 13, blow them up with that. Cause you especially, you twin piston that shit. Uh... If it's kind of a lazy Brian player, they'll be doing dumb shit all the time, like Snake Edge and stuff, so you can definitely kill them off that. But if it's a better Brian player, they'll be like staggering their downfall ones and shit. Or is it downfall two? I can't remember, but they'll be staggering their stuff and playing pretty well. Which is pretty hard to deal with, but that's just Brian in general. You you, you have to have patience. We I know Tekken 8 does encourage you to be mashing constantly for some reason. As Especially when it takes half an hour to find a match, you do just want to push fucking buttons constantly. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but for the most part, Brian is a character that you do not want to be mashing against because you will die. You want him to be doing stupid shit and then like you duck one of his highs or something and you blow him up. Yeah, there we go. Everything launches, everything stuns, everything does a million damage. Well, that's always been Brian. Yes, thank you. Chance Yam. He knows. That is basically Brian. You need to lock yourself in a training simulation with him and don't come out till it's time. Now, I, I would still say, like, one of the easiest things when you're struggling with a character is to actually play the character. 
because then you yourself would would learn like oh in this situation this is what a person playing this character is going to try to do so for example like at the war a brain player may go for taunt pressure may sidestep taunt you know stuff like that or they may try to catch a tech roll with a taunt you know stuff like that you'll only fully understand that shit when you actually play the character because for the most part, just locking yourself in training mode and going... It's, it's like you're going to be practicing a specific sequence over and over and over again. And then run into 50 Brian's that don't ever do that and you're just kind of stuck. And then you're getting blown up by something else. You know why? Because most of his players are downplaying elitists like... <laughs> I mean, Mansui. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't mean Mansui is the one who says he has like incredible execution or something. They're like, Brian, you need a lot of execution. And it's just going to circle back. And never be satisfied with how broken he is. You can say it clearly, Brian is, on this current patch is super strong. S tier, maybe not. He's probably still high A tier, I would say. Yeah, well, you, you can't really say tier list for a character anyways, because you you say that like Kuma is like a, a Z or something, in you know, like a shit tier, maybe an X or something. Like it's a very shit character. And then you run into a Kuma and fucking die. Because <laughs> you don't know how to play against the damn character. So, so tier list don't really mean anything in that sense. Like, you can have someone playing, like, a shit character, and they're really good. For example, didn't, uh, Arslan Ash's tier list have Lee, like, bottom five? Lee is fucking... He's one of the top characters in the game. He hardly has, you know, like, a... a how can I say this? Lee is just all-round kind of good. With some exceptions there. Like, yeah, back 3-3 three, three is kind of brain dead, and so is running 3-4. But it's by design in this game. And it's useful for Lee. But Lee isn't that shit. He's not a bottom tier character, but the tier list has him as a bottom tier character. Are you gonna go on that? But if you play him, you'll see he's actually pretty fucking damaging. Holy shit, Lee can deal damage. The wall carry is there. He has some slick combos. Eco Arida. And they fix while, while standing 2 3 heat burst. Thank God. For a character that's supposed to struggle against characters being in his face, he has way too good tools to do the same. Plus his absurd wall carry and damage potential and constant counter hit threats. He kind of reminds me of a discount Yoshi. <laughs> Where if you press too much, he gets half a bar of your HP. Yeah, you're not supposed to be pressing that much against Brian in the first place. Unless you have a character that does that shit constantly. Like you can't be using Kazuya and pressing buttons constantly in Brian's face. It won't work. You're going to die. Lee, maybe. Maybe. Depending on what you're doing. Uh... Nina, yeah, Nina just does that all the time. So yeah, Nina would be able to do that to Brian, where he's gonna struggle. Brian against Brian might actually do the same thing. But characters that can't press buttons constantly like that. Like, even Horong would definitely do this to Brian, but Horong does that to everyone anyway. Which again, he, he, was, he always was like that, I get it, yeah, he is. Same with Yoshi. Yoshi, though, it's kind of a cheat because of Flash. A Tekken 8 has a different pace than all other Tekkens, and he kind of forces you to play at a different pace. Yeah, you, it shouldn't be happening in the first place. You should be slowing down against Brian most of the time, unless you're me and you're being kind of brain dead in the fight. He's Brian, he's always done a million damage here. You'll start seeing more of him now. Super Akuma placed him fairly high on the tier list recently. Yeah, so all the people put a bit too much weight into a tier list about characters. I'm just gonna say that now. It doesn't matter if someone someone says your character is like the shittiest here ever or something. If you really like the character and you're you're gonna learn them, you're gonna play them really well. It doesn't really matter at that point. Maybe they're gonna stay. Okay, if it's like flat out differences, where it's like uh, how can I say it's like the season one Tekken Seven Kazuya was really shit, like that, compared to the other characters in the game. Then yeah, you're gonna have a problem. But in Tekken 8, a lot of the characters generally are able to compete against every other character. Even the bears can compete. They just kind of have bad frames and shit. But the bears kind of make up for that with wonky hitboxes. There's some lows that just do not hit the bears in certain scenarios. And maybe Zafina. Like, I feel Zafina is kind of underwhelming. Like, I'm a... Apart from her being a cockroach and always on the floor and crawling around and shit, but yeah, I feel like Zafina maybe is kind of underwhelming, but that doesn't mean she's completely shit and useless in the game. She, you, if you learn the character enough, you're probably going to put up a very good fight against other people. 
Especially because no one knows how to fight Zafin. Yeah, there is. People only care what YouTubers think. If you say something else, you'll be downvoted into oblivion. Well, I'm a YouTuber. Listen to me. I'm telling you it doesn't mean shit. Just play whichever fucking character you want to play. Have fun with the game. Play multiple characters if you want. Don't rely on tier lists. Because then everybody is gonna... <laughs> everyone's gonna hate you, you tier whore. Made these OC characters, how should I name them? I just, I, I, my imme I just immediately saw Raven. <laughs> is that CJ? What the oh, fuck? Oh, my God. dog. What's, what's up? up? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Leo. <laughs> this should have been the hamster. <laughs> this should have been the hamster. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Why? Fucking alien. Cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually. Kuma. This is just Kuma. And Ben. Finally, oh, finally, I see this meme again for the 197th time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we found him. Violet, the forgotten Tekken character. He was in Tekken 4 and then never returned. <laughs> I hope we will see him again as his own character again instead of just another reskin of Lee. But he is just a reskin of Lee. You want, you, do you want a second version of Lee running around with more b bullshit besides back 3 3? Violet was in Tag 2 though, yep. And he is Lee, so I don't get wanting him to be a separate character. Yeah, it's not like he's got a bunch of different moves either, like Devil Jin. Yeah, Devil Jin is Tekken 3 Jin, basically, so yeah. Well, the, the evolution of him. He's in both Tag 2 and Tekken 7. Was he in Tekken 7? I think he was just a... Yeah, no, he was, actually. Yeah, he had character portraits and stuff, didn't he? Reskin of Lee. Brother, that is Lee. <laughs> yeah. Don't you start. You've already tried to convince us that Solid Snake had... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> But this time he returns with a fake nose and mustache. <laughs> Violet, the third Mario brother that we never saw. Even in Tekken 4, there were palette swaps. Violet time released first, then Lee. Violet time? What? Yeah, Tekken 7. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I just remember. Yeah, in, when you start Tekken 4 for the first time, like your playthrough, like as you're playing through arcade mode and stuff. You have Violet first. And I think after you beat arcade mode or story mode or something with Violet, you unlock Lee. If I, if I remember right. Marvelous! <laughs> what the f- <laughs> the <laughs> Fucking took it to Lee with ass. Look at that. <laughs> well, we're at it. Bring back me Haru and Sebastian. Oh, God, we're going back to Tag 2, aren't we? We might as well just make Tag 3 out of this game anyway. Bring back fucking Tiger. Uh, uh, Krusty. Just bring back all the fucking palette swap characters. Or the duplicate characters. When you had to play it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine you struggle with Lily. And you basically have two Lilies. I really didn't want to emulate Tekken 5 on PC, so I did this. This is a... Uh... I forgot what it's called, but it's, uh, it's on the phone. I know, I was using it to play Tag Force games. Uh, Tag Force 6. I think it was 6. My child will play Tekken with a hitbox. <laughs> no, he will play it with fucking touchscreen <laughs> on a phone. <laughs> but yeah, I use this as well. What is it I forget what the name is. It has, a, it has an odd ass name as well. PPSSPP, uh, something like that. Fucking odd name, but it's a, it's a PSP emulator and you can, yeah, I use it for, to play the Tag Force games whenever I'm bored. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of you. Lucky God, fucking damn it! Yeah, th this is going to be the fourth DLC character. People keep doing shit like this, and I'm all for it. She will be the hamster ball rolling around. I will. I'll actually take it. She's gotta be fucking dumb. But well, then again, a lot of shit in Tekken is kind of dumb, anyways. She was decently popular in Asian servers, though. Pretty sure she'd come back because Namco can't let go of that money. Hopefully we'll see her soon enough in Tag 3, Mark! And he got downvoted for that. My god, I just want a remake of Tag 2, like a very good remaster remake of Tag 2. Oh, I don't do that. My Tag 3, my god, man, that is coming in... How many games did we have and then a Tag game? 3. Tekken 1, 2, 3, Tag 1. Tekken 4, 5, 6, Tag 2. Now, we still got another mainline Tekken game to go. We're all gonna be like in our 70s by the time we get Tag 3. He kind of looks like Tiger there for some reason. What the fuck? That's his laws. Oh, is this the... <laughs> is this the GG's good game? Nice customization button thing that people wanted in the other post earlier. <laughs> is this... <laughs> Why, though? What 
drank is this, by the way? What was that? I can't see it there, but it's it's it's, it's purple or gold, I think. Did my man round start hell sweep? No, no, no. This match is going on for at least a couple seconds. Three fucking se wait, four seconds in, and the Kazia player goes for a hell sweep, gets blocked, and then he's a uh, he's like, I GG, I'm done. What the fuck? Fight! <laughs> Put up a fight, man. He in fact did not sugarcoat it. <laughs> I'm not getting animated today, no sir. Just frame plug. Perfect electric wind card plug. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait. Hold on. I had a king player plug at me the other day. It, it, it was in the same video where I was trying to record. That was just, it was taking like half an hour to find a match. The king player hit me with a, a crazy ass combo, I'm not gonna lie. Does a rage art. It doesn't kill me. And he immediately rage quits. I'm like, what the fuck? You were gonna win anyway. Like I had like a sliver of health left and you had a decent chunk after that. Like what the fuck? Mastered LTG combo. No, he didn't hit the home button. He didn't hit the home button. He fucked up the combo. He dropped it. Whack. Writing down the CD4 into Alt F4 on block to avoid a punish. Mm. Oh. <laughs> like father, like son, if you block the slow, minus 23. <laughs> These aren't always plugs. Sometimes connections just error out. Their connection did not look bad. Though. I'm sorry. Hold on. You're telling me this is bad. This is... Oh my god, Reddit interface, fuck off. 57 MS, zero frames of delay, zero frames of rollback. I'm pretty sure that's five bar with green. Yeah, no, this is not a connection thing. That was the Kazuya player just being like, I'm out. I'm out. Yep, not playing this try hard, not even playing 100% and you're getting blocked. You're never playing me again, bum. Mods, ban. <laughs> Mods, ban. <laughs> if you block this mix, I'll plug. <laughs> Now time for your bullshit next match. One punch. He didn't actually DC. He just kept ascending to heaven and lost connection. Ah, the, the Ethernet cable came up on his way up. Oh, what the fuck? What? Flawless vortex. Wait, who's applying the vortex? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do that sometimes as well. I just accidentally push button. Oh my god. I'll sweep again. Oh, four, four, three. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on though. Like, he tried to... He tried to twin burst in there. A clip. And then immediately the Oscar does parry. Same scenario again. And I feel like the Oscar would have done parry again. Fight. That was actually a pretty good parry. Hell sweep. Hell sweep. Four, four, three. That's actually pretty good timing there though, I must say. Hell sweep. Four, four, three. <laughs> Flawless vortex. I was just about to say, yeah, he wasn't wave dashing very fast. It's it's a it's a priest. That's a, a like that is a delayed wave dash. Look at it. Final. Where is it that he does it? Yeah, after the yeah. Look at that. Delayed wave dash. Delayed wave dash. And then just dash up for the power forward three. But it's it's those are delayed wave dashes. Look at it. It's like he did wave dash, held down forward, and then hit four. <laughs> I do that sometimes as well. It's a good timing thing. Get that wave dash speed up, then it'll be almost flawless. Yeah. Just slightly faster, actually. It doesn't need to be ridiculously fast, just slightly faster than that. But sadly, I don't see the meme in this besides <laughs> that. <laughs> that was funny. Twice in a row, you go for twin pistons. Taken, taken one ending, but it's taken eight. In, 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 in. Oh my god. Oh, I love this.
Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Smile, smile, do the smile. There we go. <laughs> All we needed for him, it was for him to do the slight head turn and stuff. Yeah, but that was that was a pretty cool one. Attitude. Now walk out. Okay. Attitude. What? Now walk out. Attitude. Ooh. Now <laughs> I got the sound done for this. Okay. Attitude. What? Now walk out. Attitude. Ooh. Now walk out. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Kazia got asked. Kazia got asked for something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kazia's ass. How did that become a meme? <laughs> what the fuck? Kaz got a fat attitude. Oh my god. I was choking there, I needed some water, god damn! Cake Zoya! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wait, I have to pause this out so the sound doesn't even keep going there in the background. The Nightmare! Tekken 6 Rage is still crazy. Impressive, very nice. Now let's see. Tag Tournament 2! Oh shit! I love that there's a lot of Tag Tournament 2 going on. Well, there's not much, but... Bit of talk about it. Tag 2. For those of you that are uh, like new to Tekken, and you're just playing Tekken 8 and stuff, go and just Google... Oh, well, not even Google. Just look up on YouTube. Tag 2 death combos. You will see some of the craziest shit. You don't even need fucking rage. It just... It, my God! <laughs> like Yoshi, you could do some dumb shit with Yoshi as well when you do the tag crash thing. Yoshi can come out and he can do flea run over the opponent, but he stays on screen for some dumb reason as well. And because of how the tag system thing worked, if you sidestepped it, it was counted as a stance if you sidestep, so you get a bit more time with your second character and stuff. That's the technical shit, but right. Yoshi could do that. Stay on screen in flea stance. And you could just be like down forward one, down forward one, and your opponent would be like kind of ping-ponging between you and Yoshi's sword. There was some dumb shit in Tag 2, oh my god. Oh, engine! Back to one was an infinite against the walls. Back to one, resplat. Back to one, resplat. There was dumb shit in this. You couldn't... You couldn't tech roll back. If I remember right, it, I think I think it was a tech roll back, yeah. You could not back roll it, it Tag 2. You will get floated into another combo. Kazuya was kind of nuts in this game as well because of Electric, well, any Mishima in general, because Electric would give every character this massive combos and stuff. But my god, it's not even rage. It was just tag two. It was so fucking fun though sometimes, like holy shit, it was fun. But it was also unbalanced. It, it, this was at a time when Tekken did not have balance patches released every month or few months and stuff it was just, there was nothing the only d downloadable thing for tag 2 was eight more characters and <laughs> that was it <laughs> that was it but by god tag, i still i still miss tag 2 it was fun broken unbalanced but fun if you were the one doing the combo not if you were on the receiving end if you were, this, if you were getting your ass handed to, to you by that combo yeah well you were not having a good time but then again, that's just Tekken in general. And that relationship system, giving rage faster to some than others. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, if you had two characters within the lore that kind of, you know, like had a good relationship with each other. So you have like Harang and Bake or something like that. And you have Harang out and he's getting his ass handed to him. Bake would go into rage faster. There was some crazy shit in Tag 2. Holy oh my god. Solo rage, Paul, death is Eating an electric in Tag 2 where they had Rage and Jinpachi as their teammate. Yeah, GG's. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and the great combos as well. Couldn't you like fully combo when you had Kazuya and Jinpachi? I don't remember the combo and stuff. It's been years, but... Eddie back one forward counter hit while in Rage and your HP is gone. Eddie Lars. Eddie proved Eddie inside character here, basically. Eddie and Krusty. Some of the highest damaging team don't even give me starts on clones. Double. Yeah, I just, I just said that about when we're talking about Miharu and Sebastian and stuff. Double Changs, double Bobs. There <laughs> was double Chang, double Bob, double Xiaoyu, double Lily. Double Li. Because you had Li and Violet as separate characters. Double June, technically, because you had June and Unknown and they were they're the same person. What else was there? Yeah, there was just doubles all- Oh, and you had Tiger in the game as well, so you technically had three capo characters. 
A little damage where it stayed. Tag 2 still remains the GOAT Tekken for me. The most fun I had with Tekken, yes. As broken as that game was, you could actually see, like, the love the developers put into that game. Well, maybe not after the fact, because there was no balance patches and shit, but... Like, their first attempt at tut uh, the tutorial mode and stuff with uh, Violet Labs. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, Violet Labs is something where you build your own combat. And, uh... What else? The interactions. The interactions between, like, Nina and uh, Jin. And I think the special tag throws and stuff. They had one with Jin and, and Nina and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. There was so much cool stuff in that game. And the, the tag animations between, like... Jin and Devil Jin. Like, Jin and Devil Jin's great combo was pretty cool because you're swapping between Devil Jin and Jin. Oh, that was cool. On with the memes. I believe in the Devil Country with Jin. <laughs> oh, this was such a funny ending. God damn. He tried to fly and he couldn't fly. That was such a, <laughs> such a joke ending. You fat fuck. Oh, mean. Notice he gained Jin's fallen angel form instead of Kazuya and Kazumi's and Reina's full devil form. Ganryu long lost Kazama confirmed! Oh god! Imagine Ganryu shows up and starts pulling fucking uh, leg cutters and shit. God damn. The Squee! This is the power that can only be achieved when you acquire ball. <laughs> Zafina's ball, to be specific. <laughs> the real fight. <laughs> Why? Unironically, Devil Ganryu would be a basic to play. How? He can't fly, man. What rejection does to a man? <clears throat> uh, bit of backstory here. Gandria was after Michelle Chang, which is Julia's adoptive mother. And because Julia looks a lot like her mother, he was after Julia after that. And Gandria was like way older considering the fact that he was after Michelle in the first place. I'm pretty sure he deserves to just get his ass rejected at that point. Like he was borderline very kind of rapey vibes none taken none taken players hearing the paris stage for the first time we get the olympics with that <laughs> that is actually kind of cool we have edited this well done oh my god this is a meme this is a meme <laughs> Dude, the song is a fucking banger though. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! Look at this! I ain't gonna lie, you can't see me, but I'm fucking dancing in the chair too. Holy shit! Yeah, the song is just fucking good. But damn, that was a good one. That was a good one. Is this the best one of the week so far? Probably. It's between this and Kazuya's ass. <laughs> Surprisingly. Or unsurprisingly, it's between this and Kazuya. Elevator, knowing who this guy is, this guy Oh, he knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, he got some moves there though. Oh my god, what fucking frame did I pause on? Holy shit, that's terrifying. Tekken seems to put more effort towards their background music compared to other fighting games. Not necessarily, it's just Tekken just has good music. Like when you think about it, like, oh well, for me personally, I still got like Akuma's theme. Like I have it on my phone, Spotify stuff. So Akuma's theme, Kami's theme, I think it's called Doll Eyes. The Ibuki stage. MVC music was actually kind of good as well. There's, there's quite a few fighting games that have good music. It's just Tekken kind of has the consistency with the bangers. Most fighting game tracks are just there to fill the background while Tekken music have more variety and clear theme. that generally revolved around encouraging you to throw hands. I don't think this song encourages you to throw hands. This song encourages you to throw down. Yeah, you... <laughs> it's not encouraging you to throw hands. It's encouraging you to throw ass. <laughs> That's what the Paris... The Tekken music in general is just kind of like that. But again, it was always like that. You had specific themes for characters. Like uh, when you had Kazuya's theme and stuff in Tekken 2. Tekken 3 still had character themes and stuff. Like, holy shit. Did Tekken 3 had some really good themes. And then Tekken 4 stepped away from that. And instead of having character themes, you had stage themes, per se. Like Authentic Sky and stuff. It, it's music that fit the stage, so it's like a lot better, so to speak. But overall, yeah, Tekken just always had good music. Uh, by the way, that just reminded me, uh, Rup, what was it called again? Namco Music Center. They had all the music from the Tekken games, even the stuff that was unreleased. Like, I still have... Uh, 
Glow, which was one of the Tekken 7 stage themes. There was a beta version for that song that just never... It never came back in a Tekken game. It, was, it wasn't in Tekken 7's full release. And it's not in the Tekken 8 jukebox. But it's like a, an alternate version of... <laughs> Alright, editing me here because past me was not explaining that well at all. Tekken has always had alternate versions of songs. If you go look at Tekken 2 and 3 music, there's arcade versions and console versions. But what I'm talking about here are versions of Tekken songs that only got used once. Maybe only a part of it got used somewhere like story mode. Versions of those songs that went completely unused, like there's 15 versions of Mishima Dojo for some reason. Or tracks that aren't alternate versions but went completely unused. But all of these songs were still in the game files. So I'll play a few of them that I have so you guys can hear what I'm talking about.
So as you can hear, some of these still sound pretty damn good, but we don't have them in game. And I only have a few of them, there were so many more and a lot of those were just kind of lost when Namco Music Center got taken down. And if you try to look for them now, you probably aren't going to find most of these songs, unless someone who has it decides to upload it. And keep in mind that this was just Tekken 7. What about every other Tekken game? How many alternate versions of songs from those games exist and we may never get to hear them, unless someone rips them from the game files. My favorite soundtrack in Tekken 8, also video is fucking fire. Yeah, the video is good. This is a good Tekken 8 meme. Tasty Steve at the fucking... <laughs> I don't even play this game series and yeah, I agree with it. Why are you here? In our, why, how did you end up here? Huh? <laughs> how did you end up here? Only asking because it's a music post. What's the stage with the wob 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 saying to me? <laughs> Why the fuck did I understand this man's wobbing? <laughs> oh god. No, I played too much Tekken. Oh no. Oh, the brain rot of Tekken. Well, the music sticks with you. This is ex excellent. I can't say excellent without hearing Lee in my head. But how is this meme, by the way? How is this meme? See, this is the problem with Tekken memes. How is this meme? And look at where it is. It's directly below meme. And then you have this. How? <laughs> How is this meme? When I reach the climax on Seaside Resort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about this song though. It doesn't... I don't resonate with this song as much as the, the Tekken 7 version. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, damn it. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, but that's just just, just taking music in general, though. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but see, this is this is me. This is me. I think what it is about this song, though, that just I, it, it, like annoys me a little bit is the fucking voice on the background that's constantly. Like, oh god, I don't know what the fuck that voice is even saying. But that's what kind of gets me. Like when I first heard the song, yeah, it was kind of cool. But then practicing with Lydia, doing the learning Lydia video three fucking times, sitting here for over an hour, going through. The stuff that I wrote down, all my notes and stuff. And having that song going on in my- I had to change the song. I- I changed it to the- the, the other- the, the other version of the poolside song because- Oh my god, that was, That song gets annoying after a while. Tekken has some good music, but this is one of those that just-, just The more you listen to it, it becomes more annoying. <laughs> I didn't even read, but what the fuck? How it feels becoming a Shao Yu main and you don't get rematches anymore. Oh, what's that? Play different character. Choose <laughs> different character. <laughs> My God. I have been recording for an hour and 25 minutes. I need to end this at some point. Based on a true story, King running at Mark 10 for the most telegraph shining wizard. Decide to break instead of ducking to flex. Press 1 plus 2, it's giant sweet. <laughs> okay, this is funny to me because, yeah, this happens. I don't see it happen that often, but you do run into some good king players that actually decide to mix throws. <laughs> decide to break instead of ducking to flex. <laughs> what kind of flex is it's duck? Is this even legal or should I be jailed? But what did I just witness? Ryan damage, by the way. Holy shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. I thought the Victor player was the one that was making the post shit. Well, what the fuck kind of teabag was that? When you're in the Paris Olympics. <laughs> oh, yep, Brian. Wall carry. Insane damage. Tick, 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 tick in! <laughs> Uh, is this even legal? Is Brian. People will complain, but that is Brian. I had fun and that's what matters. Analyzing the data to go zero. <laughs> uh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. This, this happens. Oh, fuck. I scrolled too far. Shit. I saw a funny Lydia face there. I want to go back to that one. <laughs> Welcome to never play... <laughs> 
anyone you like again. Welcome to Flame Ruler. Here we got Battle Ruler Fujinri. <laughs> Tekken's ranked system just ass because of prowess based matchmaking. That is the problem. They should have never added that into the game. Tekken Beach Day Abridged. Tekken hate Beach Abridged. Oh, it's a video. Do any one of you know what MILF means? <laughs> just address me as that. <laughs> just kill me already. I see all that neck went to your breasts. <laughs> From the top down to the waist. And a funny business. So eine stellvertretende Premierministerin Lydia. Oh my god, you can grind meat on that. Come on, sugar don't bite. <laughs> oh my god, who made this? This is genius. Jean, we can't lose. Please, let's just give up. Let's just give up. Don't give up. Why, why doesn't she have proper subtitles? <laughs> I got one million on the French Monaco girl. Hmm. Make it interesting. Two million. <laughs> yeah, that seems like that would happen. That was fucking brilliant. Holy shit, that was good. That was actually fucking brilliant. My god. That, I don't even know what to say. That was fucking cool. Do any one of you know what MILF means? <laughs> Do any of you know what MILF means? That just reminded me of Oscar Ash. God damn. Some young man just got. Just addressed me as that. That part alone wasn't fucking friendly. You just addressed me as that. Nani? Nani? <laughs> just kill me already. I see all that neck went to all your breast. All that neck went to your breast. What the fuck? That was good. That was. I wish I could upvote, but I'm not logged in. This is fucking brilliant, by the way. Only ten upvotes. Get this person more upvotes. Holy shit, that was good. Why is this here twice, by the way? What the fuck just happened? What? Confused. I thought my eyes were fucked up for a second. When a Lydia wrecks you and bows at the end. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Yeah, if you saw the, 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 the Lydia video I did recently. Holy shit, I went on 8 with streak with Lydia. What the fuck was going on there? Oh god! What the hell? I kind of just want to listen to the song, honestly, but I have to stop it. <laughs> Leak Tekken 8 Winter DLC. Kiryu, cousin. Yeah, Kiryu. Wait. If we get Kiryu in the game, who's voicing him? That is a question that must be asked. Is Young Ye going to be voicing him? My friend asked me, is this a Tekken joke? The fact that I fucking understand this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. But it, it's from a different angle. But yeah, this is Kazuya versus Jin. Okay, this one better be good. It says made with me Matic. This better be good. I'm, I'm not looking at it yet. Nearly 10 years. How I feel after knowing that Tekken 7 is... Oh, God. Tekken 7 is almost 10 years old. Oh, what the fuck? Now imagine how I feel as someone who has played since Tekken 2. Oh, you're all getting old. King mains. Hey, girl, you like big dicks? Yes. Yeah. No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not gonna like my dumbass looking at the uh, fucking. I played too much. Like my dumbass looked at this and I thought it said a hey, like fucking growling, like king growling. I said, oh, God, oh, I'm dumb. I'm very, I'm very dumb. Welcome to the video. I must win for the people of our <laughs> There are people who support me. Me facing the sixth other side of road. That one guy on Tekken Reddit who gave me tips. <laughs> Was the tip use throw throw mix ups? Use jabs and down forward ones. Alyssa players don't know what jabs and down forward ones are. <laughs> Is it that? But uh, Alyssa actually, you know, when you really think about it, Alyssa actually isn't difficult to deal with. It's the fucking chainsaws. Alyssa by herself isn't terrible. It's the chainsaws. Oh, and we're back to where, where we stopped last week. This week actually wasn't all that bad. Like, there were some good ones thrown in here. Where's the fucking... Oh, God, where is it? There were some ass ones in between here. Like, this, this one wasn't really meme. 
This one was kind of good, but it's mostly because of whoever's in the video there. A lot of this was just, it felt like I was just discussing things more than anything else instead of just meme. Still kind of fun though. Where the fuck is this thing? My god. This, for me, by the way, Tekken Beach Day Abridged. This was the number one meme of this week for me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, you guys can like say what your favorite one was in the comments or something, but this for me, this, this is number one. This, I don't know if uh, fit transport <laughs> transportation, does, what, what a name by the way, is the one who made this, but if they are, well fucking done, this was the best one this week, holy shit, that one was actually good, this saved the entire, the entire thing, because there were some ass ones in here, <laughs> it wasn't really memes, it was discussions from me more than anything else. But anyway, if you liked, leave a like, just like if you didn't. And when you have a chance, actually go over to the Reddit. Go find this one specifically, just for me, and upvote it. And, and whichever other ones you like, you know, if you have some memes of your own, go make them and post them on the subreddit. Let's get some more activity on our Tekken subreddit. We have 388,000 people that have joined r slash Tekken. But I'm pretty sure that number could be much higher.